Hello once again my friends. I think this is going to be my third resurrect build or fourth. This is a Tamiya Panther G, an old kit, uh, an old kit and an old build uh, from a friend of mine. So we will try to bring this new life uh, via diorama. Um, I've just dusted the uh, acquired dust off from the kit and washed this with soap and water. So I'm trying to uh, pat this dry using my old rag. After dipping the kit with the paint remover uh, after two days, I noticed that the paint wasn't quite uh, removed yet, so I had to brush it thoroughly. And as you can see here, uh, I, I, I gathered a few figure kits for the diorama. One from Dragon and one from Malpine. I think after this I would have to retire my old uh, Paint Be Gone solution as the kit uh, was not uh, cleaned enough from the paint. So I tried to uh, paint over already the uh, primer gray. Closing gaps and seam lines uh, seems to be uh, perfect for me when using super glue uh, added with baby powder. Gives me that uh, fine closed finish. At this stage I'm already uh, trying to visualize and uh, do the layout of the overall diorama by placing it over a styrofoam and marking it. And once I'm settled with this position and angle, I proceed with the uh, base, base border ground. But still, I would have to second visualize it. A, 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 a two or final checking, if you will. At this stage, this will be my first visualization checked. A pre-visual diorama layout. Satisfied with first visual layout, I proceed to making the pine trees with a used chopstick. After making holes with the chopstick, I proceeded to uh, attaching stretch sprues as the uh, pine tree branches.
At this stage it will be my second visual layouting, but uh, as you can see it, it's already progressing with the groundworks and the uh, pine trees and tanks uh, in place. Uh, if you noticed I made already the tank track mar marks and putting on some uh, details to the groundwork with the some real soil. Due to a tight budget, I decided to purchase this Tamiya Panderji track links. But boy oh boy, uh, I, I'm, I'm really not satisfied the way this thing came out. First it's difficult to really assemble and I was really hoping for the rye field model which will be more of a track link uh, with links on it. So when you attach these several tracks, it's, it becomes a belt. Uh, but I made some improvisation in assembling this by using a reversed masking tape and fixing it with a strip of masking tape as well. By this time, I'm attempting to uh, place the uh, track links onto the tank wheels and see how, how the track tracks uh, fall into place, especially that I need some belts to sag, if that makes sense. Once my second and final visual is done with regard to the layout and the overall composition, then I proceed to the painting process. thought of doing some pre-shading on this kit and some zenithal uh, painting on the uh, black and white uh, method by doing so it gives my dark yellow paint a little uh, shade lighter or the hues would be lighter this is in preparation for the succeeding uh, oil washes and oil fil filtering that will come along that will make the dark yellow a little bit darker After the initial paint base or the base color of dark yellow, I normally, normally use the clear paint to really seal the deal. This is also to protect the uh, yellow base paint once the uh, chipping and uh, using the hairspray technique uh, commences. Applying the first tri paint, well, the second comma paint, which is the olive green, olive green. Um, I'm now doing the chipping uh, stage. Executing the tri-colored camo, um, we have to put uh, layers and layers of masking. Uh, this will enable the initial olive green paint, and then the second uh, red-brown paint, and later on 
would reveal the dark yellow portions of the tricamo. One might ask, what are those light blue green sticky gooey stuff? Well, those are blue tack. I use that as a masking for the tricamo paint. Time to paint the tools and other uh, what have you stuffs on the tank. For added visual interest, I tried to put on some additional reserve uh, tracks and made them look a little bit rusted or rusty. Not too rusty for my taste, uh, it's a little bit tamed. Now I tried to look for some decals uh, in my scrap box as you, as you know this is a resurrect build so once I got the old kit uh, I never had some extra decals uh, given so I used my old scrap decals for this matter now later on I'll find out why in the hell did I put decals on it when I'm going to cover it anyway yeah my bad Using again my scrap box, I tried to look for some extra tow cables and I, I found one from the an old academy uh, sprue and used them. Painted the uh, tank tracks with some stripes of uh, earth and rusty colors. So it's a mixture of brown, red, orange. Scraped over some metal pigments to enhance the tracks to look like metal tracks. Oil dot painting is very useful especially when you have a tri camo scheme on your kit. This helps to blend all three colors together. For the accumulating mud on the tank wheels, I made a simple concoction of my own with some plaster, Paris, some uh, earth soil, pigments, and a few acrylic paints, and uh, that's it.
in this build I will try to show you how to replicate this uh, iron mesh or grill or iron wires that was used uh, by the Panzer group to attach foliage now this was uh, highlighted to me by one of my subscriber Mr. Jerry Volpini uh, thank you very much Mr. Jerry Volpini for uh, making notice of that so I tried to use that uh, detail in this build so for the foliage to really st stick there and, and hung or hang quite well uh, they use this uh, iron mesh or metal grill There's been a lot of question, debate, and concern. Uh, why use the green foliage uh, on a winter setting? Well, in most cases, there were some, you know, or a few, rather, during the time, especially in the December 25 onwards, when the RD, Arden Offensive was really not going so well. At the time when the weather cleared and a, 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 a sun, the sunlight came out, most of the snow were thawing out, was melting, and there were a few shrubs, trees, and foliages that were still green at that time, or probably turning green again. So these were a few foliages that uh, have been used by the uh, Panzergruppen during the Arden Offensive. Uh, few, few really. I use plain tree and P dot camo scheme for the uh, SS soldiers while the uh, Falschmjäger, the paratroopers used the uh, splinter camo pattern For this one single tank crew, I modified uh, a figure to make it look like he was looking at the same direction as the other troops were looking at. At this point, I would like to thank the guys from the Hero Paints who gave me this uh, snow effects uh, pigment for free just to try them out. And uh, boy, oh boy, I was really satisfied uh, with the outcome. So, Hero Boys, thank you very much, especially Mr. Harvey Koo.
and thank you guys really really deep from my heart for reaching up to this end this again uh, long video of mine but uh, thanks for watching through and through and reaching up to this point I'm really really thankful so uh, until the next video I'll see you again enjoy the day yowza Thanks to my chaps out there, Jerry Volpini, Nori Honda, Shannon Phillips, and Tony G.